From Greenville City Hall, I'm Communications Manager Leslie Fletcher. The City of Greenville has launched a new online interactive walking tour which allows users to view the City's extensive collection of public artwork on their computer, tablet, or smartphone. The map-based tour features photographs and detailed descriptions of 61 different pieces of artwork located throughout the City, including sculptures, murals, fountains, and plaques. In addition to the tour, the Arts and Public Places webpage has also been updated to include a new online registration tool for artists and design professionals who are interested in working on public art projects in the City of Greenville. The registry will be used by the City's Arts and Public Places Commission to identify and select available artists and artwork for various projects. To view the public art walking tour, visit art.greenvillesc.gov. City Crews recently installed the first of what is hoped to be several Big Belly solar compactors, which use 100% solar power to automatically compact garbage and recycling items. The Big Belly is located in Cleveland Park between shelters 29 and 30 near the Greenville Zoo entrance and was purchased through a grant from the South Carolina Department of Health and Environmental Control. According to Allison Brockman, the city's recycling coordinator, the Big Belly will hold more than five times the amount of waste as the city's regular receptacles and includes wireless data and collection reporting software, which will alert city workers when the bins need to be emptied. The Big Belly will allow workers more time to complete other needed tasks around the city, and because it utilizes the power of the sun to compact waste, it will reduce the city's CO2 emissions over time and will also reduce the use of materials such as plastic bags and fuel that are normally needed to service a regular garbage and recycling receptacle. City staff considered a number of potential locations for the unit. We ultimately chose Cleveland Park because it is a high use area, um, it has ample sun exposure, and it's convenient access for our trucks. The location also appealed to me as the city's recycling coordinator because it provides a unique opportunity to engage the public, especially children and their parents, in waste reduction practices and awareness. Earlier this summer, the city's Parks and Recreation Department received its first mobile recreation vehicle from members of the Fall 2012 Class of the Diversity Leaders Initiative at Furman University. Officially named Moby Rec, the vehicle is designed to increase opportunities for children to participate in safe, structured play and recreation in areas where services are not available. Moby Rec is a 2013 Chevrolet Express 3500 commercial cutaway van that's outfitted with a variety of recreation equipment and wrapped in a colorful exterior so that children can recognize it. The vehicle was made possible by generous donations from Bon Secours St. Francis Health System, the Daniel Mickle Foundation, Greenville Health System Children's Hospital, the John I. Smith Charities, the TD Bank Foundation, and the United Way of Greenville County. Parks and Recreation employees staff the vehicle, which travels to different neighborhoods each week. And finally, city officials and staff joined the West Greenville Business Association earlier this month to announce the rebranding of the West Greenville Business Corridor and to unveil its new logo, which was created by designer Joshua Blankenship, who lives and works in the area. Now called the Village of West Greenville, the area has become an arts destination with close to 50 artisans who have helped restore vitality to the former mill district. Complementing the artists are businesses that have been in the area for decades, as well as new businesses that are eager to be a part of the area's rebirth. Legendary blues musician Mac Arnold will open a new restaurant and music hall in the village this fall, and Clemson University has announced its plans to expand its Greenville presence by opening a visual arts center in the village, with its first exhibit scheduled to open September 5th. From Greenville City Hall, I'm Leslie Fletcher. Thank you.